Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and it's dark outside behind me now because I've been trying to make this video for like an hour. Anyway, get ready because we're going to start talking about equipment and how to navigate the equipment system. So part of the reason I've been trying to make this video for an hour is because I've been trying to prove and disprove a lot of the conversation that's been going on around equipment. Now, I'm the first person to tell you guys that the equipment system is non-intuitive and frustrating right now. Because let me tell you, this was my first experience with it. And you can see, all I wanted to craft was a Holy Knight shoulder plate plus five. And the only reason I couldn't do that is because I didn't realize that when you're crafting something and you're going to the plus five, you can actually scroll this down and you can see the awakening and enhancing materials necessary for crafting. Again, that's why I didn't have a plus five. Really frustrated the hell out of me. And I know a lot of people are probably frustrated with the crafting system in general right now because it's not intuitive. However, it is getting a poor reputation for maybe the wrong reasons. And I've been testing it and I've been working with it. And so we're gonna kind of talk about how to work with the system uh, some upgrades that I think they've already implemented and kind of how to work with it. Probably one of the first things I'm hearing a lot of people say is that they're losing their materials when they do get to the select a type section for their weapon if they experience a disconnect or if they close the app or something happens at that point. Well, in order to test this, I basically crafted equipment on that screen, closed blue stacks, and verified that it does actually populate into your inventory. The last time I've heard about losing full materials, either through a disconnect during crafting, crafting or through a, you know, close app during type selection, uh, was about three days ago. So I don't know if they've added in a hot fix to adjust this. If you're still experiencing this problem though, please put it down in the comment section below because it's really important to draw attention to it. And I definitely encourage anyone who's experienced that issue to reach out to support. For my testing though, particularly with this ribbon plus three, when you are at the select a type screen for your piece of equipment and you either disconnect or force, force close the application, it will usually select a type for you and populate into your inventory. As you can see, the ribbon plus three is here and nothing has happened to it. Now, in addition to this, there's a lot of talk about the system not recognizing pieces of gear that you've already crafted. And this has been the longest part of the section that I've been working on because this is both true and false. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the weapon system here and I'll show you what I do have and I'll show you kind of how I've worked on it. And you can see I've crafted multiple Nagaroks because of this. So you can see here, I have a Nagarok plus two, level one out of 10. I have a Nagarok plus one, level one out of 10. And then I have a Nagarok plus one, level 10 out of 10. Now I'm actually going to awaken this Nagarok here and I'm gonna level it to 20 because basically we're hearing two different things from the community right now, right? That's that it will not recognize pieces of gear if you're upgrading pieces of gear, either if it's over leveled or under leveled. So let's go ahead and let's try and craft a Nagarok plus two and see what happens over to craft plus two and you can see here unless you select use crafted equipment items as materials it's not going to recognize any piece of gear in your inventory so you can see right here where it says crafting over the item what this is telling you it's, is it's going to craft four nagra rocks and then it's going to use those four nagra rocks to create two level 10 plus one nagra rocks so when you're crafting the plus two it does include the leveling materials. And then if you hit ready, it'll craft a plus two for us. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna, for the heck of it, craft a plus two, because we're gonna try and craft a plus three as well in a minute. So now we're gonna try and craft a plus two using the equipment that we had. That's gonna be the level 20 Nagarok. That's gonna be the level one Nagarok plus one that I showed you guys. I'm gonna go to use equipment here. And you see that it's gonna recognize one of my swords. So it did not recognize both of them. So let's see which one it recognized here. So it's gonna craft two of those 
and then it's not telling us which one it recognized. So the only way we're going to know is if we craft it. But we've run into another problem. And that problem is that we can't craft because we don't have enough small adamantites. Real problem, guys. Real problem. This is actually this is actually the like seventh time I've recorded this and I have not run into this issue yet. So here's what I'm going to say. That's pretty fucked up, right? It's only recognizing one of the weapons and it's telling me right now I need some more ore. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to just make a big drama about this because I don't want to record this goddamn video again. Because I have been trying to record this all afternoon. And I've been trying to get through, like, trying to see, you know... Oh, God, we're going to actually have to do Ore Chamber. Jesus Christ. Who runs Ore Chamber Novice? All right, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna run Ore Chamber Novice right now, guys. Look at your watches. I'm pretty sure I've only ever been in this chamber once in my life. Oh, it's actually a really pretty map. This is the pretty map. Okay. So we're currently running Ore Chamber Novice because for literally the seventh time, I have not been able to finish the video that I've been making talking about the equipment system because it is so goddamn hard to navigate and the equipment system cannot do common sense things that it should be able to do. Do I sound angry? I mean... Like, this literally was not planned, guys. I cannot tell. Like, this was literally not planned. I've been trying to make this video for, like, an hour now. And I keep running into small problems trying to do an equipment crafting video. And I feel like this is the summary of what players have been experiencing trying to navigate the equipment crafting situation right now. Is it better than before? In some ways, yeah. Now it's just a little bit more of a pain in the ass. So let's go to the crafting section so that we can resolve this. Because I already know what it's going to do. But I want to show you guys so that you can believe me here. So we're going to craft a plus two. I'm going to use equipment items. So we know it's only going to use one of my plus ones that's currently registered. Well, there's a couple ways we could test this. So let's go ahead and test it by leveling up the plus one to level 10. All right. Hop out of there. We'll go over here to this Nagarok plus one. And we have the level 20 and we have the level one. So I'm going to max level this. There we go. We're going to go ahead and hop back in here. We're going to craft a plus two. Use and suddenly it doesn't need to craft a plus two. So it doesn't matter if your Nagarok is or your weapon that you're crafting is above level, what matters is that it's um, at the level or above. It can't be below. So where this becomes a problem, right, is if you're crafting, say, like different sequences of crafting gear and you're leaving it at level one. So for example, we just crafted two plus two level ones and we want to use our crafted equipment. It's not going to let us do that. We literally have literally have two plus two level one Nagarok plus twos in our inventory three actually there's actually three of them that's not gonna do it it's not gonna recognize the piece of gear even if we check the box so these are kind of the traps that you're gonna be falling in with the equipment crafting system I've mostly verified that you're not gonna lose your gear if you exit out uh, I verified that it's gonna work for you if you do have equipment that's over level However, you are going to have to have equipment that's at the level if you want to use that current piece of equipment or have it recognized by the system in the current synth. All right. I think we're done with this video. I'm personally done with crafting right now. Like, oh my God. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> As always, um, if you are planning on supporting me, please use my affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins. Currently, the special offer at dig.gs slash offer is out right now. But as always, you can support me by going to my classic affiliate link, dig.gs slash coins. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Merry Christmas.